I'll write down this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, one, 5 into 4, that is 20 digits are over. Correct? Now, the, what is this time period? 1 second. So, 1 fifth of this is given for 1 sec, one set. Correct? What is that? 1 fifth of 1 second. How many milliseconds? 200 milliseconds. 200 milliseconds. And how much time for 1 digit? 40 milliseconds or 50 milliseconds 50 milliseconds that's fine so 50 milliseconds now you can tell what is this time period 50 milliseconds it means after 50 milliseconds we should change the digit and the data for example if i want to display 1 2 3 4 for first uh, 50 milliseconds i should show and value 1 and enable first digit leftmost digit and we i should not do anything till 50 milliseconds over are over once 50 milliseconds are over i should change the data to 2 and enable the second digit and make sure that the first digit is switched off everybody understanding this and thereby slowly the data will be changing and like that so we can understand this by drawing a diagram so, I simply write down digit 1, then I write here digit 2, I write here digit 3 and digit 4. We may count the digits from anywhere, from left to right or right to left. Right now for simplicity I count from right, uh, left to right. Hmm? So, this is my digit 1, digit 2, digit 3 and digit 4. The values are also 1, 2, 3, 4. So, digit 1 should be on for how much time 50 milliseconds so this is 50 millisecond right after 50 milliseconds are over digit 1 should be off because the its time is over then digit 2 should take over correct right after some time it should also say that my job is over so i'll switch off and then third digit then fourth digit and what after this again the first digit right so instead of writing it here i will extend the first digit so again 50 milliseconds now we understand the waveform which the microcontroller should produce so as to control the display. So, this is a shift register kind of thing or shifting the waveform. We are not going to use any shift register kind of logic because we would like to implement that in software. Everybody understanding this? So, digit 1 is on and so on. <coughs> now, this will give us some idea about the kind of circuit that goes in in case of multiplex display. But before we proceed, we will quickly take a review of what we did from the very start. So, we started with display because display is integral part of a frequency meter or any meter that for that matter and then LCD, LED, LCD standard is 16 by 2 character display. There are other displays, graphical displays, color displays and so on. LED displays, 7 segment displays, how many digits they are decided by frequency range and resolution. We took some examples, then LCD and LED comparison we understood and then we decided to use LED display, we decided the digits and then we understood that there are two ways static and multiplexed. We understood what is static and what is mul multiplexed. Static means all digits are always showing, therefore the power consumption is very high, not very high, but it is high relatively and number of IO lines required are also more. Multiplexed only one digit and we understood the logic behind the multiplexed 7 segment LED display. Everybody understood this? Right. 
So, this should give us some clue about the circuit diagram of the display. We will cover up that much and then we will stop this discussion. Fine. So, what I will do is simply I will draw the 7 segment display, one 7 segment display and uh, maybe I will show it this way. I could have drawn it better, but it is fine. decimal point also will show. Right. Now, how many lines one digit will have? 8 lines, right. So, 8 lines 1, 2, 3 dot 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 last line. Each line is numbered as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and decimal point. Now, will these lines will be here? Yes. Right. Now, there are two kinds of displays. One is common anode and common cathode because there are many segments here, many LEDs. So, every LED should not have separate anode, it is better to have some common anode or common cathode. We assume that we have common anode type of display. So, this is anode and these are all cathodes, these are all cathodes and common anode. So, everybody, every, every display will have common anode and they will be clubbed together to be connected to some power source. How to do that we will understand, but there is something common, right. So, common anode, this is the type of display we assume right now. We could have done common cathode also, but we will start with common anode, fine. So, how many uh, lines we have used? 8 lines for signal and common anode right now we made a mistake actually here if all anodes are clubbed together then all four digits will be on simultaneously because everybody is receiving power we would like to switch on only one digit at a time and therefore we should have control over which digit receives power everybody getting this point so what we'll do is uh, we will maybe copy this and paste it here, right, and then rub out the unnecessary thing. So, now we have separate digits. Now, in this space, we would like to put some control circuit. So, that that will be able to switch the appropriate digit at appropriate time. Now, what is appropriate and what is not appropriate is decided by this waveform. Everybody getting this point? Right. So, this waveform will drive which digit is to be made on. How to create this waveform is a separate issue. Who will be creating this waveform? Microcontroller. How microcontroller is going to create waveform? Based on the software. And who is going to write the software? We are going to write the software, right. So, we have the uh, displays and uh, do you know any switching device? Transistor is a switching device. So, we have the VCC here and we would like to divert this VCC either to this fellow, this fellow, this fellow or this fellow. 